What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Cornerstone Ogre Pond team that also features Silk Scarf Ursaluna. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Ursaluna is going to be the first Pokemon that we talk about in today's team preview. It's got the Mind's Eye ability, alongside with the Silk Scarf as item so it can boost its normal type damage. It's got Blood Moon for stab, Hyper Voice for another stab move, and then it has, oop, did not mean to hit that. It has Earth Power and then Protect for its final move. Second slot is going to be Shen Pao. Shen Pao is still top tier within Regulation E, so I love it here. It's got Swords of Ruin with the Focus Sash, Icicle Crash, Sacred Sword, Sucker Punch, and Protect. In our third slot, we got Iron Hands, and Iron Hands is just that guy. He's just so good on any team that it is on. It's got Cork Drive with Assault Vest, and Rock and Fake Out, Wild Charge, Strain Punch, and Heavy Slam. In our fourth slot, we got Shen Pao's best friend. It's going to be Dragonite with Inner Focus and the Choice Band. It's got E Speed, Stopping Tantrum, Outrage, and it also has Giga Impact if you need big time damage on a turn. This slot is going to be Dustcops. Dustcops pairs up with two of the Pokemon on today's team, Iron Hands and Ursaluna. So Dustcops is going to rock out and pop Trick Room for them. It's got Pressure, Evil Light as item, and then Nightshade, will o -Wisp, Haze, and Trick Room. Final Pokemon is going to be Cornerstone Ogre Pond with the Sturdy Ability. It's got Follow Me, Ivy Cudgel, Super Power, and Spiky Shield for a nice little protect move. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked up ladder. Look to showcase this Cornerstone Ogre Pond team. First match on its way, and we're going up against a Cresselia team with Landorus, Iron Hands, Tornadus, King Gambit, and Grimmsnarl. So Grimmsnarl could be here to set up those big time screens. You can get the screen set up, and you can really get after me that way, which is kind of annoying. It really is. They can also lead Fake Out with Iron Hands. They can set up Trick Room themselves. So you know what? I'm going to be bringing in probably my heavy hitters alongside with Ursuline, just for a nice little back end Pokemon. Or I could go Iron Hands instead of Ursuline, but I like Ursuline here. Got the ground move to be super effective onto the King Gambit. The normal moves can just do big time damage onto everybody else. So I do like that. I definitely do like that. We got Shen Pao over here. Do I maybe just lead Shen Pao Dragonite? Well, you know what? I'm gonna go Shen Pao with Cornerstone over time. You're rather fast. You know, we're gonna do that. We're gonna rock out with both of them. I'm gonna bring Ursuline in the back end just in case Trick Room comes out here. And then do I bring Iron Hands or Dragonite? I kind of like Iron Hands better than Dragonite. Even though it's Choice Band, Iron Hands is just solid. He's just too solid not to bring, right? Or do we need the big time damage? Because I could go into you. E speed's beautiful. Especially if you do take speed, you know, we're going Dragonite. We're going with Dragonite. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But uh, the reason I wanted to bring Dragonite a little bit more was just in case they pop Trick Room. We have Ursaluna, and the Dragonite can also thrive in Trick Room because it has E speed. E speed goes first no matter if we're in trick room or outside of trick room so that is just a nice little precautionary thing i want it so they end up going lando alongside with tornadus and this intimidate is going to bother me a little bit but i feel like with the swords room we could still do some big time damage so i'm not too worried i am not too worried so chances are lando is going to terrestrialize i think i might just hit an ivy control here I might just Ivy Cudgel this down. And then maybe just try to hit him with Icicle Crash. Might as well, right? Or honestly, I can just switch because he's probably going to Thrastalize, to be honest with you guys. So, I mean, I could just go here and then put Icicle Crash into the Thunder or the Tornadus. Which I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Actually, I'm going to Thrastalize you. So we're going to put the mask on the Ogre Pond, and then I'm just going to Icicle Crash across this right side onto the uh, Tornadus. The chances are he might set up a Tailwind, but I don't mind that we're intimidated. I really don't. I'm still going to be able to hit hard. I still like it. Maybe I should have protected my Shen Pal, but if they're going to Tailwind, I'd rather just start attacking right now. Let's see how this one plays out here. I think he is going to Terrasalize Landorus. And he does not. Wow, I could have just Icicle Crash and take that out. Very surprised they didn't terrestrialize that. Super surprised. Oh, that's why. You're going to U-turn out of here. Do some big time damage. And whoever is coming in here is getting hit by a nice big Ivy Cudgel. So I'm going to hang on with Focus Ash for a little bit. Might protect some turns just to waste out Tailwind. And then kind of go from there. But I will have Sucker Punch if I need to attack. 
Let's see how this one plays out. Who are we gonna go into? Go into somebody I can just rip with this rock move. Iron hands. Eh. Eh. I seem better. I still crash gonna fly over into the Tornadus. It's gonna bring it down to red. And then Ivy Cudgel is gonna get caught. The Ivy Cudgel coming in here. Nice little rock move. We still have Sturdy on our boy, which is good, but they end up going into this little iron hands to eat up. So from here, they already have Tailwind set up. I can see a fake out coming out here pretty easily. And I think I'm just going to go an Ivy Cudgel to finish you off and then just protect. Very simple play for us. A very simple play. So I'm just going to protect Shen Pao. We still have Dragonite in the back end. They will have Intimidate, which is kind of annoying, but we also have Ursulina. Icy Wind's going to come out here and he's going to he's gonna double down on my Ogre Pie. That's a smart play right there. Should have just sucker punched him. Should just hit him with that sucker punch. Green punch coming in here and big time block. Okay, so you were going into Shen Pao. Now that's a little weird. You were icy winning. So Ivy Cudge are gonna fly here. It's gonna do some damage. I think I might spiky shield next turn. Let me just swap my Shen Pao. Do I swap Shen Pao? Maybe. Let's see who they go into. Because they could go back into Lando and then you turn out again, which would be so annoying. That would honestly be so annoying. Let's see. They're gonna end up going into Lando, and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to swap my Shen Pao here. Intimidate comes out, and from here we're just gonna go Spiky Shield. And what's my stats here? What is my stats for you? You're plus one on the defense, okay, and minus two on attack. So from here, I'm just gonna Spiky Shield. I am gonna now take this chance to actually. Swap in Ursaluna and try to get going from there. So Ursaluna really doesn't have a lot of value here. It's gonna be a little bulky, but like, I mean, Trick Room can really do us dirty. And if he's throwing a Drain Punch into the slot, that can be bad. But I think a Rock Side is gonna come out here more than anything, or maybe just another U-turn. We'll see. But I'm really hoping no Drain Punch coming into Ursaluna. So he ends up U-turning the slot. And I might have to hard slot my over. But well, we saw turns pretty well. I think they have a few turns left in uh, Tailwind. And they're going to show their final Pokemon, which is going to be Crest. So they could pop Trick Room. So Ursula could be good here. Drain Punch. Come on, man. Goes in in that slot? That's wild. That's a little out of it. I don't like that. Not one bit. Not one bit. So from here, I'm actually just going to swap Ogre Pond. I'm going to go in the Dragonite here. So I'm going to swap Dragonite, and I might just protect here. Where do I go for an Earth Power? What's your speed, Ursula? How slow are you? I mean, they're in Tailwind, so it's like... We might as well attack, right? They are in Tailwind. You know what? Let's just do this. Let's just go follow me. And let's try to get off an Earth Power here. Let's go for the follow me turn. The follow me comes out here. We just do not want Ursula to die in here. We want to get off a little bit of value. And of course you have Dazzin. Oh my lord. I was thought I thought you were gonna go for like a psychic or something. Of course they end up Dazzin gleaming. And Drain Punch gonna fly here. And he's gonna pick up the easy double KO. So they have Lando. They do have Lando, who I think they're gonna potentially hard swap into. I might just start throwing Giga Impacts. Actually, Outrage might be might be the better play here. You might just want to start outraging with Dragonite. You might just want to start outraging with Dragonite. I could just get an impact for some big time damage. But I think from here, they're definitely going to swap into the Lando. And maybe swap the Iron Hands. So I kind of want to just... Do I double down on that? I think I'm just going to outrage. I, I think I'm just going to outrage here. I think that's my best bet. Not Icicle Crash to Crest. Maybe we get a flinch if we can really go from there. But I think he's swapping into Lando. Is that Iron Hands? It is. It is. So that's fine. I do. The reason I did not go into the Iron Hands was because I think Outrage should do enough damage here. It's Choice Bandit. It is Stab. It's big time damage. And I have Inner Focus. That's going to work well. So Shen Pao is going to get the attack drop. Icicle Crash is going to fly here. Maybe we get a flinch here, which will be massive. And we'll kind of go from there. Outrage is going to fly. And like I said, this should KO. It does. Cool. So we pick up a big time KO. We can't flinch me with fake out and we're just gonna try to keep Shen Pao on the floor here. Let me go Dazzle Gleam. 
can't believe you didn't trick him. I cannot believe you did not trick him. So he can't fake me out. We're looking just to do some big time damage here. And this was just good plays from our opponent. Right? The ogre, or not the Ogre Pine, the Lando really just getting after us. So he can't fake me out. I'm just going to keep spamming uh, Outrage. I can't really even change my move. But yeah, that, that Lando early on, the swaps in and out with that was really perfect. Really put us in a tough spots. So we have some going for a fake out. We have inner focus, which is lovely. Outrage gonna fly in. Can this KO? It does not. That thing's too bulky for us. Now I'm confused. I was gonna say, hopefully that KOs and then we don't be confused and then we can KO the crest. But crest is just ripping ice cream here, and that probably KOs me, right? Yeah, four times super effective. GG's to our opponent. They played really solid here in match number one. Second match is on its way, and our opponent just outplayed us in the first match, playing some really good moves with Landers. They also brought in perfect Pokemon to counter us, and they just won that battle. But like I said, we're hopping into our second match, and I would love to get the win started right here. They got Hearth Flame Ogre Pond, so Fire Ogre Pond, and then Shen Pao. They're also rocking out with Empoleon, competitive Empoleon. We don't really have any Intimidate Pokemon, so I'm not really too worried about that Pokemon. They also have Golden Go, Cresselia, and Ursuline. I definitely want to bring my Ursuline again in case they want to pop Trick Room, or maybe I should just go heavy trick room. I don't mind heavy trick room, right? With Iron Hands, Dust Clops, and Ursulina, I think that could be pretty good. So you know what? I'm actually going to do that. I'm actually going to go in those two and then bring Ursulina. And last but not least, do I go Dragonite or Cornerstone Ogre Pond? I kind of like Ogre Pond, especially with Sturdy. I think I can get down with that. So we're going to bring Ogre Pond in our final slot. And we're just going to go heavy trick room right here and not bring Dragonite and Chen Pao. It's kind of weird of me to do because Dragonite Shen Pao is just so strong, but I feel as pushing just the Trick Room side of things here will really benefit us. So, we'll see who they want to end up leading. I know they do have Ursuline and Crest, but hopefully they don't lead it. Hopefully they do not lead it. Let's see. I'm going to go Shen Pao and Ogre Pond, which I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm going to fake out the Ogre Pond all day, and I'm just going to try to pop the Trick Room. But Shen Pao cannot KO me. It cannot KO me, right? I got pressure. I got pressure going. So from here, obviously Trick Room coming at you, and then just fake out on the Ogre Pond. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Because the only way I'm not getting off Trick Room is if they Terrasalize Ogre Pond and he hits me with Ivy Cudgel. But at this point, we're just hitting it with the claps, we're hitting it with the fake outs, and we're not allowing that. That might just Spiky Shield. Let's see. I maybe should have predicted the Spiky Shield, but that would have been... That would have been real risky. Because honestly, I think he does Spiky Shield. So out comes the terror type, and this has got to be Ogre Pond. And yeah, the, yeah, good thing we're faking this thing out. It's like I said, I'm just not doing that. I'm not doing that. Ogre Pond with with Shen Pao, just a problem. It's just a problem. So he ends up getting that plus one attack boost. He's looking to hit me like a truck. I'm saying, yo, that's got to stop. We're going to fake you out and actually do a nice chunk of damage to it. He ends up rolling out with an ice spinner. That's fine. Iron Hands can soak that pretty well. And Ogre Pond's gonna flinch. And on top of that, Dust Cop's gonna wiggle his fingers, his hands, and pop the Trick Room. So we have Trick Room out here, which is lovely. I could double down in the Shen Pao, which I actually kinda wouldn't mind. But you know what? I might just burn Shen Pao. And go for... Let's just Wild Charge and finish off Ogre Pond. I really want to go for Drain Punch for the HP recovery, but I need to do more damage. I need to do more damage. So we're gonna burn the Shen Pao. And we miss. Oh, I hate wasting turns like that. I hate it. I hate missing that. Wild Charge can come out. Can we KO? We do. Okay, so we pick up the KO. I like that a lot. And that's so annoying that we missed that turn because the burn would have done two things. One, it would have halved his attack stat and it would have not did that much damage. And on top of that, it would have burned him and took off his focus dash that it probably has. Most likely has. Ice Spinner comes out here. He's going to do that much damage. And I'm hoping maybe I could just land a Drain Punch. And... Get some HP back, but Ursuline is going to come out here. Very annoying. And da -da 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 -da, do I just start chipping up damage? How, who, how slow are you guys? How slow are you? Ursuline is going to be fast in there. Oh, that's kind of annoying. That is kind of annoying. You know what? Yeah, we're still just going to burn the Shen Pao. Maybe do I swap Iron Hands? No. I'll try to get off a Dream Punch. If I can. If I can. Ice Shard's gonna come out of here. Of course you have Ice Shard. Of course you have Ice Shard. Why wouldn't you have Ice Shard? That's absurd. Can we land Swillowis, please? Thank you. Thank you. 
See, if we would have landed that last turn, my Iron Hands would have still been alive. It would have been awesome. It would have been real good. But missing that one turn really did not help us out. So, Play Rough comes out here. If I had to guess, guess that uh, Ursula in his guts, it probably is. And then, yeah, there's the burn. So the burn comes out there, probably. Um, now it's going to be a good time to go into Ursula and have an Ogre Pond in the back end with Sturdy. Really nice. It's really nice. And I bring out my lovely little Ursaluna. And from here, I think we just kind of target down their Ursaluna. Yeah, I'm going to go Hyper Voice into the normal Terror type. I understand that Shen Pao most likely has Sacred Sword, but with that burn, it should be fine. And then with the normal Terror type, the Silk Scarf boost, <clears throat> we should be getting a, a mass amount of damage with Hyper Voice coming out here. So I like it. I like it. And if I can just get rid of some Pokemon and waste out this Circumcurrence, then Ogre Pond's gonna come out here rather speedy and uh, try to start cleaning things up. Ice so Shard's gonna come out here. That's fine. We had a nice little Terra there. Nice Shade's gonna fly here. And oh my god, I totally forgot. I totally forgot. That doesn't affect it because it's normal type. But Hyper Boy's still doing insane amount of damage. Taking out Shen Pao. And it's good to know that our Ursaluna is actually faster than their Ursaluna in Circumcurrence. So he's gonna go for a Drain Punch. That's scary. Now that's scary. That is scary. And from here, we're going to see his final Pokemon. So we should have one turn left in Trick Room. Hyper Voice can do some big time damage. And I might just Blood Moon into their Ursulina. Or do I Blood Moon into Crest? I think I might Blood Moon into Crest. Again, one turn left in Trick Room. Yeah, it's one. Um, yeah, we're going to double down to Crest. I want to get rid of Crest. I want to make sure I get rid of Crest. I can handle the one-on-one. -on -one. Ends up going for an ally switch. It looks like we're just getting rid of their Ursaluna. That's fine. That, that actually works out even better. This Blood Moon should do enough damage to finish this thing off. He's probably like, dang, I just screwed myself. He wanted us to hit the crest. He wanted to keep his Ursaluna alive, but hey, that's going to be match number two. In the bag. We got this one all day. We got this one all day. We didn't even need our cornerstone Ogre Pond. But yeah, I, I, I kind of I kind of figured... That Trick Room would be very, very big for us. And we would get a lot of value out of it. And that's exactly what we did. Worked out perfectly. Worked out perfectly. Faking out, popping the Trick Room. He's going to end up going for a Dazzling Gleam. Ursaloon is able to soak. Hyper Voice is flying, doing some big time damage. And I could have popped the Trick Room if I wanted to, but it's really no big deal. And Shade now flies. It's not going to KO, but still puts him in the red. And from here, we're just going to Nightshade again. And I'm just going to Protect. So he thinks he can KO my Ursaluna. My Ursaluna is not dying. Unless you're Lunar Blessing. No, you're going for that something. Okay. So he's looking for the KO onto my Ursaluna. It's fine. I make that move today. And my boy Ghost Dusclops over here. There was his final night chain and finishes off the battle. Final match is on its way. We'd love to use Ogre Pond a little bit more here and grab you guys a winning record. But we're going up against a Thunderous alongside with Landorus, and then they're rocking out with Scissor, Kilowattle, who I love, and then Pachirisu and Gardevoir. How should I play this one? Who should I go into? I'm kind of leaning towards Ogre Pond Shen Pao, but the only problem I have with that is going to be Intimidate, and I don't really think there's a way around it. So maybe I'll just hard swap right off the rip if that's the case, or I could just go Shen Pao Dragonite. Hmm. No, you know what? I like this. We're, we're going to rock it. They still do big time damage, especially with all these Pokemon that we will be super effective onto against. So I'll go Iron Hands, and in the back end, finally, I will go Dragon Egg. So let's lock it in. Let's get it. Let's get after it. But yo, huge shout out to all my members. You guys are the real ones. If you guys want to become a member to the Jeans channel and support me a little bit extra, there is a link down in the description below to become a member. Seriously. Thank you guys so much, especially all my members, for supporting me as a content creator. It really does go a long way. But uh, Gardevoir is going to come out here alongside Pachirisu. And I don't mind soon. I think I'm just going to Terrestrialize my Cornerstone Ogre Pond. Get a defense boost and uh, get some more damage on him, right? I think this is a, a great turn for us. So I'm going to do that, and on top of that, I'm just going to go Ice and Crash here. Yeah, I was going to double down to Pachirisu, but... I mean, we'll deal with it. Because I was going to say, Pachirisu can kind of just, like, nozzle around. But Gardevoir can also hit really, really hard. So. Let's just let's just put the mask on and get cooking from there. Like I said, we're one and one We're one and one So this, is, this could be a big time win for us. I almost just had, like, a mini heart attack. I looked at my recording software on my other monitor. And I thought I was not recording. I would have been so upset. 
I would've been so upset. That happened to me before. And it's just, it's a heartbreaker. Like, especially when you're like 30 minutes into recording, you're in your third or final battle, and you look to your right, you're like, oh my god, I've been talking to myself this whole time. Not even recording. It's just a tough time. It definitely is a tough time. But he ends up going for the follow me. We're gonna pop a nice little Ivy Cudgel, and we landed our Icicle Crash. And can we KO here? We can indeed. Get it on out here. Little squeal. Squeal. Little squirrel action. A squeal. So we get rid of the squirrel. We love it. Whenever I hear the word squirrel or see a squirrel, it reminds me of up. The the uh, the dog named Doug. He's like, I want to be your squirrel. And then he's like looking around. It's always a good one. It's always a good one. But they end up going into Lando. Nice little intimidate and I think from here we're just gonna stick with the Ivy Cudgel but put it into Gardevoir and I'm gonna throw the, the Icicle Crash into Lando. Maybe he doesn't Terrasilize or maybe he Terrasilize into Flying and we still get off a huge chunk of damage. So we have some really good Pokemon in the back end. If he ends up KOing me, I'm kind of cool with it. Which I think Dragonite and Iron Hands can really finish things off and of course I did not know, or not, I didn't know, but kind of did not know. I was gonna say, of course you are Choice Scarfed. This thing is cooked. It's very fast. It's a very fast Pokemon. If he gets cooking with that, I'm gonna have to choice into. Hmm. What move am I gonna choice into? My E Speed without my Terra? Yeah, it's probably my best bet. That's probably my best bet. I'm gonna bring out Dragonite. I'm gonna bring out Iron Hands. We have Iron Hands with the Assault Vest, which isn't bad. It's not bad. But that EQ and that you outspeeding me really did me dirty right there. It really does do me dirty. So from here, I'm gonna have to double down into this thing. I wanna, I wanna go into Outrage, but at the same time, I can't. I simply cannot. Because I need something to take out this guard more. I know I have Heavy Slam on Iron Hands. The answer just withdrawn. Kinda hurts. You going into it. You got cooking. The choice scarf was massive. It really was. So you end up going into, oh, you protect guard more. Actually, I like that. Oh, cool, we get off some free damage. He, he's probably gonna try to swap in a little later and reset his tree scarf and uh, get another intimidate on us. But I am inner focus and I just did a huge amount of damage. So from here, I'm just gonna e speed into Thunderous and I'm gonna stick a heavy slam into the guard. So I think he is gonna hard swap, maybe guardable or even Thunderous back into uh, mana protecting. As I say, you might swap just to get intimidate off, but I'm cool with this. E speed's gonna get blocked. And how much damage is Heavy Slam going to do? That's the real question. Because we know Dazzling Blink's coming out here. Big time damage across the board. Really hurt me. But Heavy Slam, how much damage are you doing there? One HP. Are you sashed? Okay, you are sashed. I was going to be so upset if you were sashed. Okay. So from here, I'd rather get rid of the Gardevoir with an each speed. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to Heavy Slam into... This match coming down to it. It's coming down down to it. So he has a protect the guard. Oh, man. It's a big time protect. And what is what is Thunder's going for? That protect might have just won the game. That protect might have just won the game. Discharge coming out here. I think I'm dead to this. I think I'm dead. I eat. I eat. That's beautiful. I'm paralyzed though. Of course I'm paralyzed. Of course I'm paralyzed. And yeah, I don't think we can win this match. I don't think we can win this matchup. Because Lando comes out here, and Lando just pops an EQ with Choice Scarf. And that's going to KO me all day. Yeah, I really wish I had Terra at this point. They're just winning the, the, the tight battle at this point. So Intimidate comes out here, we, we do inner focus up. But at the same time, like I said, you're just going to go for a... Uh, You're just gonna go for an EQ and you outspeed me. And I have to get rid of Gardevoir at the same time. This is just tough news. So I'll go after Gardevoir. And I guess I'll just have you slam. Iron Hand's not too good up against these Pokemon. Really is not. But yeah, it's gonna be game. We're gonna go one and two for today's video. And both of our losses came in really clean matches. Like, we already know what's happening here. If I would E speed the land out, it wouldn't have died. And then Gardevoir would have taken us out. But if I, but the, oh no, you go for Terra Blast. Can we soak that? No, oh, we're on 11. I thought we had a little bit more. The Terra Blast comes out here. 
I'm surprised she didn't just EQ. Oh no, he had the choice. My bad, he had the choice. He had the choice. He had to do a choice move. So we go in a terror blast here. And he's definitely ground terror, right? It's smart. Definitely ground terror. Because if he would have terrasalized in the ground, he would have, uh, I don't know. He doesn't have terror. You have terror, don't you? Train Punch gonna fly here. Hold up, let me see if this person has Terra. Who might win this match? Due to our typing. They have Terra. They have Terra, but I don't know what their Terra type is. Is it flying? Because I was thinking it was ground, and that was the reason they did not Terrastalize and KO'd my, my Dragonite, right? That makes the most sense. I'm gonna go for Heavy Slam this turn. I think they're gonna, like, I don't know if they're playing with me. What's going on? But now the terrestrialization comes out. Maybe they just misclicked it and didn't click it last turn. I'm almost positive it's ground. No, it's ice. It's ice. So it makes sense to why they didn't want to terrestrialize. It makes sense. So now he's looking to just get off a big damage here and KO me. So it makes sense. Can we actually eat this? Go ahead, eat this. A crit? Yo, I really wanted to know if we were going to eat that or not. Why do I got to get critted on there? We definitely had a shot at win that match. But hey, there it is. One and two for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Not the way I wanted the video to end. But hey, we'll lose to a crit. We'll take that one on the chin. We'll take it on the chin for sure. But um, yeah, I'm kind of curious to see if Iron Hands would have ate that up. Because Heavy Slam would have KO'd after that. Considering it would have been super effective. Now that that Lando changed to Ice type. So we might have just lost to a crit. And that one hurts. But hey. I really do like this team all around. Ogre Pond was awesome. Alongside with the Ursuline and Trick Room Squad, we were at least able to come out with a win. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.